Hello, Hawk. I'm Sonia, and I'm ready for Hillview. And I'm Walona. But before we begin, please pledge. Ready? Pledge. I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the republic for which it stands, one nation, under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. Please be seated. Child, you used to be one. This is our Early Learning Center, a local preschool hosted by Oak Knoll Elementary School. Teacher Kate, a passionate educator, talks about why she loves her job. I like coming to school every day and uh, seeing their smiles and, and listening to all of their questions, um, listen to all of their stories, multiple stories, unbelievable, incredible stories, uh, seeing their uh, reactions and facial expressions uh, when they learn, when they discover, when they explore something new. Squirmy, squirmy. She shares a heartwarming story about a student that made her smile. Uh, Simon was asking, how do you spell your name, Teacher Kate? And I helped him spell my name, and how do you spell from? And after that, he, um, he put from Simon, Kate, and then he said, can you read this? I-L-O-L-M, and I said, I think it says I love. He said, I actually wanted to write I love. And I said, what did you want to say? I love Kate from Simon? He said, yes. But there's a problem that all preschools in the Bay Area face. Here's Eric Burmeister, the superintendent of Menlo Park City School District, to explain. One of the biggest challenges we face is the same challenge that preschools across the Bay Area face, and that is recruiting and retaining high-quality, well-trained preschool educators. Many preschool teachers believe that this time period is pivotal in a child's education. We're uh, laying the foundation, and uh, besides just playing, we make play very meaningful and intentional. So through play, they learn about early math skills uh, and strategies, uh, science, uh, early literacy, uh, pre-reading, pre-writing, art. Um, they learn um, about being a good friend and uh, being a part of the group. And uh, we we'll learn about emotions, big feelings, naming them, identifying them, and uh, give them uh, strategies to work on uh, how to contain them or how to express them in a nice way. This preschool teacher shortage will affect preschool students across the Bay Area. Help spread the word and support preschool education. Signing off for HBTV, I'm Wilona Chen with Ashlyn Roeder. Thanks, Wilona and Ashlyn, for that feature. Healthy, you should be. Healthy habits can prevent sickness, decrease stress, and help you lead a happier life. Here are three healthy habits that can help you take care of your body. The average 12 to 14 year old should get at least 8 to 10 hours of sleep every night. This means that if you're waking up at 6.45, then you should be going to bed at any time between 8.45 to 10.45. An average middle schooler should get around 5 servings of different fruit and vegetables every day. A serving is about 3 to 4 baby carrots or half a banana. This means that you should have the equivalent of two and a half bananas and different fruits and vegetables every day. As for screens, teens shouldn't be using screens for more than 12 hours a day. This includes the iPads that you may use at school. Using it too much can damage your eyes and make you addicted. Also, the more you use your screen, the less time you spend in the real world. So now that you know some of the ways to stay healthy, you should do your best to implement them into your life. I'm Louis Bellot with my partner Quinn Watchers, and we're signing off for HVTV. Thanks, Louis and Quinn, for that PSA. Movies, you watch. You've actually never seen a full movie because you've blinked. I read that on Instagram last night. Endgame and be Thanos. I'm gonna be a mean girl because I'm just that mean. Any Fast and Furious movie because. They're cool. Detective Pikachu because Pokemon. Probably Iron Man. Uh, I would be in Step Brothers. This is incredible. Shark Boy and Lava Girl, and I would be Shark Boy. Winnie the Pooh movies because Winnie the Pooh is really, really okay. cute. I would be in Clifford the Big Red Dog. I'd probably want to be in Home because they discover aliens. Jumanji or something because I want like The Rock. Disney movies. Sir. Cool. Cars. Ah, uh, 
would be John Wick because uh, he's cool. Yeah. Diary of a Wimpy Kid. I would be in Avengers Endgame. I'd probably want to be in Endgame because I want to be uh, Captain America because he has like Mjolnir. Definitely be in a Mr. Bean movie. I'd be in the SpongeBob movie because SpongeBob is God. Uh, the the Karate Kid. Yeah! All right. I would be in Shrek so then I could say, what are you doing in my swamp? Thanks, John and Drew, for that informative hawk squawk. Well, that's all. Enjoyed HBTV? Joke. What do you get when you combine a rhetorical question with a joke? On behalf of everyone on the Hawk Talk News team, it was a great day. Teachers and students, stay tuned for some extremely special announcements.